Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of God is at the Helm. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to see more videos like this and show your support. Let's get right into it. I wanted to share an experience that has helped me to understand the word humility in a new way. A couple years ago, Mark landed his dream job after graduating from university and it was amazing. Everything he could have ever wanted, except for it was an hour and 20 minutes away. And so we decided since it was a temporary position that for the first year he would just commute and then we would kind of see how things go. If he got another contract, then we would move in the summer. But after not very long, I kept having this feeling that we weren't going to last very long and that we would move partway through the year. And after a couple of months of him commuting every day, exhaustion started to show and it was starting to drain and strain our relationships. And he just was so tired with the new stress of, of the new job and of commuting that he just didn't have any extra energy to give. And so I could tell that this was not going to be a good situation if we continued in the long run. And so I started to pray really hard to know if we needed to move and if that was the right time. I figured if we did move that Christmas would be the perfect time because he gets two weeks off for a break and we would be able to move within that time. So we decided to start looking at some houses and we went and looked at a house that was pretty good like we wanted a house that had an unfinished basement and this one did and there was a lot of good things about it but it had a really small yard and it was kind of on a busier road and so I didn't really like that but there really wasn't a whole lot of options out there and so we were kind of thinking about this house and trying to get um, our finances figured out and everything and I kept praying to know if it was right for us to move if we needed to move soon um, or if we just needed to be patient and wait it out. And then one morning when I was reading my scriptures, I came to a passage in the Book of Mormon that said, For the Lord hath heard thy prayers, and hath judged of thy righteousness, and hath sent me to declare unto thee that thou mayest rejoice, and that thou mayest declare unto thy people that they may also be filled with joy. For behold, the time cometh and is not far distant. Okay, so I read that and I was like, that's my answer. I was pretty excited and, you know, shared that with Mark and with the kids and was like, I guess we're moving. This was a big deal because he was only on a temporary contract and to move our family for something that might only be for the year was kind of a huge leap of faith. But ultimately I felt that we received that answer and that that was what we were supposed to do. We looked at that house, um, I was reading my scriptures and, and I, <laughs> came to a passage that said, there is a mansion prepared for you. And I had been praying about whether that was the right house. And so reading that, I was like, there's a mansion prepared for me. Does that mean that this is the one that's prepared for me? <laughs> does that mean that there's something else prepared? And does it actually mean a mansion or does mansion just mean house? I kind of figured mansion just meant house. Either way, I still felt that the Lord was mindful of us and of our situation and um, gave me that that hope to to keep trying and keep waiting. And so anyway, we decided, well, let's put an offer on this house. And so we went and did it and <laughs> our realtor gets back to us and was like, two people just put an offer on it with like within 24 hours. And so that was the end of that. It was pretty disappointing, but I, at the same time I felt like, okay, if this one isn't right, then there's going to be something better. And the whole time I kind of had this underlying feeling that when the time was right, I would know when we need to move, that the house that we needed would be available and that I would know. And so I kind of just kept coming back to that whenever I'd get anxious. I would just come, no, I, I know that the right thing's gonna be there for us when the time is right. Other thing was that we'd also had a potential buyer for our house and the um, we had a duplex. And so the people, on the, our neighbors on the other side were also selling their half. And they had mentioned that somebody was interested in buying both. And we that was kind of at the time when we weren't sure whether we moved or like, well, We've already got somebody to buy our house kind of as is. And so we didn't even have to worry about showing our house or getting it ready or anything like that or listing it. And so I also felt like that was another big nudge, like this is the right direction that we're moving in. So when it, that other house fell through, I kind of thought, well, my dream is to have some land and have a little hobby farm and we homeschool and to be able to have a space where the kids can just run around and be free. And so I thought, oh, maybe it's, time for that and that an opportunity will come up for 
us to be able to do that. But the more I looked at the market and looked at things, the less hopeful I felt. And it was the middle of winter and the pickings were like super slim. So as time went on, I started to feel like I was losing hope. But every time I prayed, I would hear the Lord talking to me in different ways. As I was pleading, I, I heard like, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And I'm just like, okay, that's been a really dear scripture to me throughout my life. And I always need to be reminded of that. I'm like, okay, I trust you. Another time when I was feeling particularly down, Leilani said to me, mom, you're trying too hard. You need to just let it come to us. And I knew that that was another reminder that I just needed to be patient and trust in the Lord and in his timing, which isn't always easy to do. <laughs> Throughout this time, I still kept hearing um, little promptings. Also, I kept hearing prepare every needful thing. And I took that to mean like, I need to start packing. I need to start preparing because when it happens, it's gonna happen fast. Like everything's just gonna fall into place. The other thing that kept coming back to me was my ways are not thy ways and how things don't always work out the way that we think that they are going to or that we are expecting them to. And another thing that kept coming to me was to be humble and I'm like I'm humble that's one of the things I'm most proud of <laughs> just kidding <laughs> but I just felt like oh be humble I didn't really think I was very prideful um, and it, I kind of came across this quote by um, a general authority and he said if you think you have it you don't <laughs> and that we should try to develop humility and be sure we didn't know when we got it and then we would have it but if we ever thought we had it, then we wouldn't. So just to throw that in there, how <laughs> confusing it is. <laughs> but basically, it's just something that you have to just keep working at. So if you've watched my other videos, you know that I often get a word that I like to focus on and work on. And so this was my new word, humility. And so I started researching and trying to find out as much as I could about it and try to understand it better. In the past, I kind of just thought, being humble was not prideful and yes that is part of it but it's so much more than that there's so much to it and i could go on and on but i'm just going to share the part that was truly a hinge point in my journey and my relationship with my heavenly father and trusting him throughout my life humility is a willingness to completely submit your will to heavenly father as well it is acknowledging your need for his constant guidance and recognizing the blessings that he's given you. So I was trying so hard to find a house that I thought would meet all our needs and that I thought would be perfect. And I really just needed to hand it over to the Lord and say, I trust you that you know exactly what our family needs for our progression and for our happiness. And that was really hard, but it's also, really comforting to know that we can do that and that he sees everything and that he has things figured out so much more than we do and why would I make decisions on my limiting view of things when he sees the whole picture it just makes sense so my prayer started to change and I started to pray to have my will aligned with God's and as I did that I saw a big shift change in my life and I just learned to lean on him and to trust in him and his plan and in his timing. So soon after that, uh, a house became available and Mark went and looked at it and he felt really good about it, but it didn't have a garage and it had an unfinished basement, which we were looking for, um, but the house was smaller than the house we were living in. And so not having a garage and living in half of the house was a big change and I had also been praying a lot to be able to simplify our lives and to live more minimally and not have to spend so much time organizing stuff and just spend more time living and so I knew that this provided that opportunity for us and Mark's shop at our other house was ginormous and it was full and our, we had a double garage as well and so this was a huge change for our family to have to downsize so much and it's been a journey <laughs> anyway he felt good about it and I wasn't so sure but I kept praying to know if it was right and I didn't really get that like 
overwhelming powerful feeling like yes this is right and so I kept being like well I don't know maybe it's not right like there was nothing else available <laughs> and this was like the best the price was right and it had a lot of the things that we did were looking for um but just the fact of how small it was 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 kind of scary for me and so I was gonna go look at it but as it turned out, that right when I was going to go look at it, um, we got a call saying that somebody else has put an offer on the house and did, did we want to buy it? And so Mark went and looked again after school and decided, yes, it was the right house and that we wanted to buy it. And I still was kind of unsure. And, and he just said to me, like, sometimes you don't always get all of the answers before something happens. And I just felt like I'd been guided all the way up to that point and so I was like well, why didn't I get that strong um, confirmation then but Mark did and he felt that it was right and I think that's marriage like sometimes you get the feelings to do something and sometimes your spouse gets it and, and you have to just trust each other and also I just needed to trust that Heavenly Father did have a plan for us taking that leap of faith was was hard but he's like sometimes you just have to take that next step and and then watch things unfold i'm like okay and so i did and um and we got it without me looking at it and this was actually the second time that that had happened our first house we moved provinces and so i hadn't seen the house and mark bought it so that was a little disappointing but anyway i did get to see it eventually <laughs> so it's been interesting just having to go through all of our stuff and really try to downsize even after moving and try to decide like can we do without this what can we do without and it's been really good for me but had i had my way i would have probably spent too much money on some land or a house and then we would be in debt more in debt and i wouldn't have learned the lesson of living with less and that was really what I wanted for our family was to have less to be able to strengthen those family relationships and free up time to be able to serve others and to be good influences in our community. So it has only been through aligning my will with God's that I've been able to appreciate and understand the journey that's leading me to become the person that I'm meant to be. So I challenge you to pray to have your will aligned with God's and to trust in Him and to watch how your life unfolds into something more beautiful than you could have ever imagined for yourself and far greater than you could have accomplished on your own. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.